Hey, good evening, everybody. Uh, it's April 10th. It's a Wednesday evening. It's almost 7 p.m. Uh, as you can see behind me here, it's a pretty clean barn. We had a full, complete barn cleaning this morning. Because of the movement of animals and the deletion <coughs> of uh, some of the animals, which is, it was five heifers last week, uh, it was a three-day barn cleaning. And I got to tell you, it went exceptionally well. The one thing that we are getting a lot more of <clears throat> is uh, water in the gutter system because of the weather. Uh, it's an amazing difference outside just within the last three, four days, what it looks like. We'll take a little bit look. We'll, we'll take a look at that as time to come. Uh, quite very simply, once if not twice a day uh, to get rid of this water, which will be a problem when you go to clean the barn, uh, this very simple, cheap, common man's little pump is set up, and it gets run for about a good half hour or better. <clears throat> so, uh, lots going on today. Uh, it's, it, it's been a good day. Very busy, but that is good. Lots of little honeydews, lots of little stupid little things taken care of. Uh, we handled some animals today and uh, <clears throat> went and got our big bull back. We're going to take a look at... Uh, a big pig in a little bit. Um, it's been decided that we're going to hit a sale on April 26th with uh, the very small amount of uh, calves that are being shipped here. Only, uh, well, it was going to be eight, but now it's seven, and I'm going to show you why. I'm keeping back one more heifer. We'll take a good look at her. So uh, we're two weeks to the date from shipping to the shipper. Uh, <clears throat> the sale is uh, um, 16 days from now. So, therefore, vaccinations took place today. Some tagging, um, the EID tags, which is a necessity. And uh, we did a little swap ruin with pens. So now, what we have here, <clears throat> here's this guy. He's back. Went and got him today. I'll tell you the story about him in just a little bit. So now these two back pens here have uh, four of these calves apiece. That heifer you see right there with the red tag, I made a decision today <clears throat> to keep her. I kept her for a few different reasons. Um, <clears throat> number one right now with me trying to grow this farm, that's kind of the business that I'm in, is keeping heifers and putting heifers on. Uh... I'm very impressed, you know, two months ago, a little less than two months ago, when I looked at all these animals, decided what I wanted to keep back, and also, you know, big contributor was age, <clears throat> health, size, everything else. I discounted her because of her size. Uh, she's come leaps and bounds. She really has since uh, about a month and a half ago. And uh, so therefore, today, I decided to keep her. <clears throat> She's doing real well. <clears throat> now, she comes out of a very good AI sired bull. And one of our, we're going to say our top five cows out in the lot. Which is pretty important. It is to us. <clears throat> so... Between that, the health and condition that she looks in now, um, it's been decided to go ahead and keep her. She's going to be thrown out in the heifer lot here in uh, two weeks. We'll see how she does. Here's, uh, here's the downside. This is the downside for me. Some of you might disagree. Some of you might go ahead and bark at me. Bark all you want. Um, she's only going to be 13 and a half months old come... August 15th. August 15th is the guaranteed magical day to uh, bulls on parade for cleanup. Cleanup and breeding. Of course, she comes in the heat before then. She will not be AI'd, but she's only going to be 13 and a half months August 15th. Me, I don't really like that. I've heard different things from a lot of different people. Not just locally, but YouTube as well. <clears throat> I don't like that. I, uh, I like a good solid 15 months. 
Um, but what are you going to do? Um, she's a good heifer. Comes from good breed. You're going to keep her. And that's the name of the game right now is yunning up this herd. So that was the decision that was made there. Okay, this big, uh, this big little sissy, we went and got him back today. Um, <clears throat> what happened with this guy, this was one of the first bulls that this farm raised. Folks understand that we were never in the habit, ever in the habit of raising our own bulls. Never, never. Well, in 2017, this guy is two years old, damn near two years old. 2017, we decided to do so. We kept back the first two well AI sired bulls. This is one of them. The other one was sold after last summer's uh, cleanup. <clears throat> well, yeah. Well, where, he's, where has he been? A uh, local farmer. I'm not really sure about his regiment of time, but that's his business, not mine. Um, he comes screaming for a bull, cleanup bull, around uh, middle of October. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're done. Everything's squeaky clean out by us. Uh, feel free. So, yeah, he kept them for, you know, a good 30, 45 days. And then uh, he actually wanted to uh, keep him throughout the winter. Uh, go ahead and feed him and everything else, and which we were happy about because otherwise we'd have stuck him in the barn here and it was one more thing to clean up. <clears throat> so we were happy about it, and basically the, uh, the, lease, the lease price got wiped clean. I, I don't know. I think it's kind of an, a, a nice win-win. Um, so he's back. We came and got him today. And uh, we're getting ready to uh, bring, bring this guy. And the new bull. This is last year's, one of last year's first good AI-sired bulls. Um, they are going to be tested later this month. It's either later this month or the first week of... <clears throat> May. And when I say tested, folks, what I'm talking about is we're going to get them semen tested. Um, <clears throat> yeah. This guy did exceptionally well. He did his job and then some. He and his counterpart last summer. Um, if anybody is interested, um, as far as I'm concerned, he's beautiful. If anybody is interested, his... His AI, all right, how do I say this now? His AI sire is number 1800 investment, which comes from the Gen X Corporation. So, yeah, and quite very obviously, he comes from, uh, as I had stated before, he comes from one of our top performing um you know, top 10 cows out in the yard, including this guy as well. Um, <clears throat> I forget what his sire is right here. Shame on me. I had to know that. But, um, yeah. Yeah. He comes from a Hereford. <clears throat> a Hereford AI sire. And a Black Angus cow. His AI sire is Investment, which is a Black Angus which was bred to a black baldy. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, a black baldy is a half, basically a half Angus, black Angus, and a half Hereford um, is his mother out in the yard. <clears throat> so, yeah, looking forward to getting these guys tested and hopefully everything is squeaky clean. Everything's all right. Uh, I already went through the heifer that's being kept back. I'm not really happy about her age, but you know what? Um, <clears throat> we're going we're gonna to see what we can do. See what we can do. All right, let's continue to talk about bulls here for a little bit. Um, yeah. I am bound and determined 110% I'm keeping back the first five bull calves. Um, with a good AI sire from some of the good cows, for lack of better words, this year. I want to keep back five. <clears throat> Four of them I have full intentions of trying to sell next, next summer. 
One of them I will keep for my own purposes, <clears throat> along with this guy, <clears throat> next year, because it, he'll, it will be his second year, that those will be the cleanup bowls. He needs to go bye-bye after this year's cleanup. Either after this year's cleanup or um, spring summer of 2020. Two years and out. Two years and out. So, yeah. <clears throat> so that's my mad science on that. I know I sound like I know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I hope I made it sound good. <laughs> All right, other than that, I finished up that lease agreement with the, uh, the landowners, just no more than a mile from here for that property. Real happy about it. There's some changes that had to be made. They called. Nothing, nothing big, nothing, uh, nothing to get excited about, but I'm pretty happy about it. We're supposed to meet on Saturday for signatures. They're almost as happy as I am about this whole new deal and getting in there and livening up the property. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. It's, uh, it's a safe haven for this farm and this operation because I tell you what, if more property didn't get acquired in one form or another, <clears throat> um, I'd have been in big trouble next year. That is a fact, Jack. So very happy about it, very honored. And um, <clears throat> I ought to seal that deal up with signatures on Saturday. Uh, I do have a plan for that property. I really do. Um, <clears throat> I stated on a previous video that it's going to come with a hell of a lot of extra work and a hell of a lot of extra money this year. But of course, farmers are filthy, filthy rich, so who cares about the money? Um, that was my comedy show. <laughs> Good Lord. Um, I'm going to save it, though. I'm not going to explain to you now what I'm going to do with that property. I'm going to explain it to you while we're out there looking at it. I look real forward to it. We're going to take a look at, uh, uh, by rights, there's three different chunks. All right there in the same area, but three different little properties. And I'll explain to you what I'm going to do with it. I'm pretty excited about it. I visited the feed mill today, uh, <clears throat> talked to some people that are a hell of a lot more educated than I am, which uh, <laughs> that ain't saying much. Um, and I got some very good referrals, uh, some good information, a little bit of education. We're all in the same wave of thinking. It's going to cost a little extra money what I want to do this year, but it's worth its weight in gold for longevity securement. And that's what this is all about. So, yeah. Other than that, not a whole lot to talk about, folks. This kind of business as usual. I hauled the rest of the baleage, alfalfa, which was only two bales left. I hauled them to the farm here today. <clears throat> Started picking up some end cap bales. Anybody that wants to complain about the uh, messiness and dirtiness of these pens, I agree. I do agree. You need to understand we did a bunch of transferring today and a bunch of haltering, and that is, that is the product of what happens. But uh, they got a fresh barn cleaning coming tomorrow morning. Everybody's happy and uh, all is well. Right, you little beady eyed? The bowls. What the hell are we going to do with the bowls? They're not going to be running until about August 15th. Ah, the end of the first week of August, probably. We'll see how the AI breeding program goes. You know, years can vary. Um, AI breeding is going to start taking place July 1st. It's a little bit early for up here, but um, <clears throat> with the amount of cattle that is here now, which isn't significant, but it's a hell of a lot more than what we're used to, um, July 1st is the magical date of starting AI breeding. So, until August, we are bound and determined that these both these bulls are just <clears throat> excuse me they're just going to stay in here no harm no foul the only thing that we are going to do is we're going to leave and um, uh, a a bed pack like in this corner here for them to not only lay on but step in once in a while uh, these animals on pure concrete 100 percent of the time is kind of a bad ordeal it's not great 
So it's the only change that's going to be made is a nice bed pack in that corner over here um, for, uh, <clears throat> for a little bit of comfort. So they're going to stay in this barn and uh, they're going to be pampered and babied and uh, they're going to go like hell August 15th or so. So it'll be really interesting. I'm pretty excited about this year. Really excited. There's a lot of big things in the works here for me, big things, you know. And, um, yeah, we'll see what we can't do. So, folks checking in, saying hello. This is almost 16 minutes. <clears throat> I got to get going. I still got a little bit of rat killing here to do before dark falls. Uh, it's never ending, which is okay. That's all right. And uh, we're going to talk to you sooner and later. Have a great night.